since this guy is primed to be an army builder, let's start out with the accessories, see why you may want more than one. So he's got the two katanas with the awesome hands there. He's got the two extendo arms, which you can see it's like his arms, they all like get all that kind of like robot detail. I think they look like blasters. I have to read the comic again, it's been a bit. He has a damaged foot soldier head. This one we've seen in other shots where Casey is smashing it with the hammer. It will seem to fit with that Ronan Casey hammer. And then here's two, the, I, I guess they're grabby hands. They're not tight enough to hold on to the blade. And that's all he has to hold on to. But they're, I mean, they're basically grabby hands, kind of almost a punch hand, maybe, I don't know. And then he has these two karate hands, pointer hands, you know, things going down with Cha. He has, here's his extra battle damaged head. You can see just tons of awesome detail on that bad boy. The eyeball hanging out right there. And then here's like an extra neck, like a, a neck that's been ripped out, all damaged, all to hell. So you can see here, you can just pop that on, have it lying around. And then we have our foot ninja boy himself. He has the nice intact head. I just love this. This is, in my mind, this is how all foot soldiers should be going forward. Unless they're human, just make them like this. Hell, if they are human, make them cyborgs. I don't care. So you can see he's he comes with the two fists. Incredible detail on those fists, the theming out. On the head, you notice that's the Foot Clan symbol. You know, it's it blends in when you don't need it to, but hey, that's the foot, that's the foot there. Yeah, so this guy, I mean, full Townsend. <laughs> he's got the bicep cut, double jointed arms. So he's going like that. Standard wristy movement. And this is a, it's a nice callback to the classic like foot design that, I don't know, that weird arm pad thing. The crunch. So he's got a, not, a lot of nice tilt in the waist. I mean, spin all around, he's a robot, whatever. So he's got the chest twist and then the waist twist and then pretty hefty crunch going on. You know, he's a he's a very flexible robot going back a little bit. The head, there is some like, not, a, well, I guess there is, I thought there was some neck movement, but it, no, it's all head. So you're going up like that, you're looking down. And then the legs, I mean, check out the detail in the body there. Look at this guy. So the legs, not quite the full splits. He's got like his own utility belt on the back. He has like, you know, his machinery protruding out. The two, this is, does that? Oh, yeah, that pops out. The two holsters for two swords. Get you back in there. The legs, they're kicking back. They're kicking forward. And then single jointed knee. Interesting knees on these, so they're all real body. You can fold it forward if you want, which I think, I don't know if they meant it to do that or it's just a byproduct of it. I just think that's cool. So as the robot, you can really play into it being like busted when you need it to. And then the foot, kind of the standard up and down, side to side, pretty good. This guy is solid, he does have pegs. It's just, I don't know, this figure, I think is just so fantastic, so fun. Like obviously some of the choices, like you're not you're not going too high up there just because of the shoulder thing. So you're gonna have to like get creative in different ways. But man, this foot bot is just so freaking fantastic. My favorite part, the way they made it. So this comes off if he wants to go into, you know, robot blaster mode. I bent it around weird, but check that out like see to me that's that's a blaster but you know you, you take any one of its extra hands and then he has <laughs> like the inspector gadget extendo hand slapping raf raf's not gonna like that but talk about a boxer with that reach how how's raf how's what's raf's long arms gonna do like if they're squaring off Footbot wins. So yeah, that is super cool. Um, of course, you can make that any hand you want. So if you want him, ooh, 
a standard peg. Everything's nice and smooth. Nothing's sticking. No problem with this guy. If you want him like <laughs> extra long sword hand, that's dope. I do wish he had like a gun. I guess I could steal the Singe's weapons. But man, this figure. I think it's just... I love it. It is a spindly figure. You know, I generally don't like the spindly figures. But, unlike Karai, where you can see they just kind of did an old spindly lady body where they didn't put too much effort into it, the engineering, the design on this guy, you know, as new as it gets, the, the Sinja body, also super cool. So yeah, that's a 10 out of 10. This figure is just freaking fantastic. Maybe we want to swap off a different head. This, this, this gets a little hard, um just because you know the nature this little damaged neck which is really cool but we put this guy on there and then you're doing like this guy's been been through some stuff but he's still kicking still having a good time still ready to slice and dice i do wish it, it would be nice you know that's that's getting greedy if this one was like a full head you could pop on there so it's like extreme damage but, you know, again, this one's going to be going through it pretty soon. So, yeah, this figure, I don't know. All the Ronins, the Ronin family here, they're, they're super impressed. It stands good. Raph. I saw some crazy mods for Raph. I mean, I didn't, I didn't do a video for Raph. Everybody should know how fantastic this Raph is. Again, you can see this is why I'm so disappointed in Karai. Um, because they're doing awesome stuff, you know. When the Ronin body came out, that's a sweet, chonker, thicker figure. I, I liked it so much. I got the red one. Want to get the white one. Unarmored Roman Sinja. They come out, like, with this awesome raft. All kinds of new things, like double-jointed. Like, the squishy shell. All kinds of detail. And Karai is just like eh. and I get it like the Karai figure is simple you can't get too crazy if you're trying to stay faithful but you know some ab crunch or whatever mine snapped in the waist the elbow snapped disappointed but if figures like this just take it all home and show me why I absolutely love the last Ronin line one of the best lines and figures I cannot wait for Leo and Splinter they're gonna be so incredible I mean, my god. My god. So rad. Highly recommend this. If I gotta review this baby, this guy is a 10 out of 10. I am so happy I went through and we're doing the army building so I can have a bunch of these. I might buy more. I don't know. It's just such a cool figure. I mean... Even the katana sheath like that... That's just so neat. That's so freaking cool. I love this figure. 10 out of 10, you wizards at NECA. Fantastic job. The packaging is, of course, extremely spectacular. That amazing Ben Bishop artwork. I mean, he doesn't miss, as you can see from the other ones. If you've been following this line, one of the best parts is the packaging. Footbot, 10. You have the product shots. That's why I got three of them, folks, because I wanted to be able to make that scene. I wanted a bunch of extras. And then here is that side mural shot. Man, oh man, you know. Oh, of course, the, the standard NECA window flap. Look at our beautiful footbot there. Another great shot of you can see what you're doing. I like to think of that arm as like a blaster cannon, but it's also like an extendo arm. Here is our full Ronin family. Technically, I guess not full. I don't have the white Ronin, but these are all the actual mainline figures. And then I have the red Rogue Derelict Ronin. Pretty awesome line. You can kind of tell I'm a huge fan. I got the figures. I got the boxes. I mean, you got to keep the boxes to keep them all mint. We just have to take a moment to admire the amazing box art. Now, with the release, we don't have the full picture yet. We have one, two, and three there, as you can see. Then we skip forward to like six and seven. You can see Sinja and Cry match up. And then we go even later to Footbot with 10. And then Red Ronin just doesn't fit at all. But when we have the full line of figures, when you get Splinter, Leo, Donnie in there, you're going to have this whole big mural 
which is just so rad. Hopefully you've been saving your boxes. If not, go get some extras. But how cool is that to have the display there? Super rad. And there, of course, you can see the proper numbering, one, two, three, six, seven, ten, and then nothing for Rogue Derelict. So we're missing some as they get released. Splinter, Leo should be soon. I can't wait. All in on the Ronin line. I skipped a video on Raph, but Raph, as people say, he is undoubtedly one of the best figures of the year. Can't forget the credits. Everyone involved doing an amazing job 